in this video we are going to discuss about service asset and configuration management process so what is service asset and configuration management so you can see service assets are any resources like infrastructure application money and people or capabilities like management organization processes knowledge and people of a service provider that means they need to be managed and we refer them as configuration items so service assets and configuration items so all comes under one category called configuration items so characteristics of configuration items are that they can be individually managed or controlled by a change management process so the main characteristics of configuration items are they can be individually managed or they can be managed by the change management process or team not every service asset is a configuration item so here not every service asset are configuration items so you can take an example here of a server or a pc is an asset and a configuration items while the knowledge of a technician is valuable asset but not a ci so you can see here of the pc or the server is called a configuration item as well as service asset but the valuable information or the valuable knowledge of the technician is only called as a valuable asset but not a configuration item so the cis or the configuration items are described using attributes and relationships between the other cis so these are defined or described based on the attributes so that means categorize categorization so but not uh, in the other way and also the relationships also can be established with, between the other cis are also accountable here cis with related attributes and relationships from a configuration record so cis with related information and also the relationship with the other cis form a configuration record as the name implies there is a database for it so that all these configuration records are stored in the configuration database so the configuration management database manages all the configuration records and the relationship between the cis you can see here the database is managed by configuration management system team and the service asset and configuration management ensures that cis are identified baseline and maintained and that changes them are to be controlled so here very clearly that the configuration management system manages the configuration database which has the information of the configuration items re relationship between the items and also regarding the service assets so, so if you take an organization the organization might be having service assets and configurations individually and they are managed individually or by the change management process and after the change management process the service asset can be differentiated from the uh, configuration items by the valuable or the value given to it and their relationship between the configuration items and the service assets are managed in the database and these databases are maintained by the configuration management system and in future they are identified and baselined and maintained and the changes them are controlled so here they can be controlled by the baseline categorization and also given identification to them by the any number so that this service asset and configuration management process is implemented in every organization to have a clear idea of the configuration items